What's going on guys, OG Frog Develops here, and uh, we are back with a another plugin. Sorry it's been so long, um, I haven't really been answering questions, I haven't been on too much, but I'll try and get back to as many of you as I can. Um, there's going to be a Discord link in the bottom of the videos, they're in all the videos now, and it's actually a different Discord, it's the server we're working on right now, but if you join, we'll ha we're happy to answer questions. Um, my friend OG Trey does pre-made servers, so everyone joins there for questions about that, and so there'll be people that can help you there. And we're also going to be opening a server soon called Valane. Well, I don't know how soon actually it's going to be, but today I'm going to be showing you the Crazy Envoys. Um, pretty popular Envoy plugin, I would say. So what we're going to do here is, let's see, uh, so Envoy, oh, Envoy Help, we'll just start with that. So when you do Envoy Help, it shows all your commands you can do here. Now, if you want to edit what's in the crate, you're going to have to do that in the actual like document, which isn't in-game. That'll be out of game. So I can't really help with that too much unless I were to make a separate video on that. But uh, So we're just going to start with... Like, and when you download the plugin, it actually comes with custom crates that are already like done, so you could just keep that. But say you want to choose where the envoy is going to be, like up there we have our spawn. So you're going to want it to be right in the center. So we're going to do slash envoy center. And then this is going to be the center and it will go the whole way out around like this. Um, the next command we'll do is, actually we might just start at the top. Um, reloading it would reload the config files. So say you were to go in the config and change like what's in the crates, you're going to have to do envoy reload. And that'll update all the crates. Uh, resetting the server would work, or restarting the server would work too. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do such envoy time. Oh, envoy time. The next envoy is in 50 minutes and 31 seconds. So that'll be how you can change that in the config too. If you want it to be every two hours, 30 minutes, anything you want really, um, that won't be too hard. But envoy drops and shows all current locations. So if we do such envoy drops, that is all the locations on the map that they'll drop. And then let's see here. Um, um, shuts up the envoy collecting message. So say you do an envoy. Um, it's going to be saying it in chat that there's going to be an envoy. But if you don't want it spamming chat, you can use such envoy ignore. And it won't actually say the stuff in chat about the envoy and spam it. So we're going to turn that off so we can actually see other stuff though. So it's envoy help. We'll reload this. So envoy flare. This is how you can like you can make these buyable or on your shop or anything like that. But if we do such envoy flare one OG frog. I can't spell today. Um, so... If we throw this flare, actually, oh, right like that, you right click, and out comes the envoy. So these are what they'll actually look like, well, it'll either look like that. Um, this is, you could change that to be an actual crate, but that just came down right like that. So you're just going to left click on them, and stuff will drop out. This one's a rare crate, uh, 25,000. Um, where are the rest of them? Here's another rare one. 5,000, and let's see what this one gives us. 25 tokens, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so you could set up something with the token system. We're not going to get into that this video, but yeah, that's another option. So, that's how you're going to do that. If you want to edit the Envoy, so you want to set where the locations of these crates are going to be, you're going to have to do that. But here, let's show this first. Envoy stop. That's how you stop it. It'll get rid of all of them. If you're experiencing server lag or something like that, that's how you can get rid of everything. So if we do slash envoy edit, there we go. Now what you're going to do is, you're just going to click like that, and that's where crate's going to spawn next time. Click like that. These are all the, this is a previous location of where crates were. So there's still going to be crates there. You could destroy it, I think. Uh, you'd have to be in creative. But you can destroy it, and that's how uh, you'd get rid of the old spawns. So this is just going to add more crates to it, basically. So, you get the idea. So now we got all those done. Envoy. Oh. 
so we are down to Envoy Start. That's how you start it without using a uh, flare. And we already went over Envoy Center at the beginning. So if we do such Envoy Start now. And there comes the crates to where we placed them at. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me click on this one. I think um, you're going to have to change this in your config thing. But yeah. So we have all these crates over here. I think it's just rare and common. Uh, you can obviously add more. Like, you could add a, I don't know what you want to call it, ultimate or very rare or something like that. That could have the, the best stuff in it. Everything's done in the config. Uh, I can do a video if this gets a lot of likes and stuff like that. Just let me know down in the comments if you need me to do a video on how you can do all that. But thank you guys for watching. I hope I can make a return. Um, I'm getting decent support on the other videos. I had some people telling me I should come back and keep recording. So, uh, yeah, I'm back and let's go join the discord if you need any help. Thank you. Goodbye.